<laughs> hello, goodbye, and hello again, and welcome back to Spooky Ducktober 2023. Um, so I like ghosts, and uh, I'd smooch a ghost. So let's let's play speed dating for ghosts. It is a ghost dating sim. Start game. <laughs> Oh, hello there. You must be here for speed dating. My name's Fran. I run this little operation. Uh, nice to meet you, Fran. You're a nice one. We get all kinds of ghosts here. Nice ones, sad ones, a few spooky customers. It's it lonely being a ghost. It has been pretty difficult. It has? Wonderful! Then let's get started. We've got three rooms to set up, each with their own super fun themes. You pick one, and sit at a table. Makes sense. Doesn't it though? Another ghost who also signed up sits across from you. You'll have a few minutes to get to know them. Then a bell rings, and you switch seats. A bell rings from somewhere. Just like that. In all, you'll meet three ghosts over two rounds. And at the end, you get to choose your favorite. If they like you too, you go on a date. How's all that sound? I can't wait. Neither can I. First things first though. Okay, choose your room. The room of palms, the room of liars, and the room of black. Hmm. Let's start with the room of palms, I guess. The room of palms. Looks like the basement of an old church. Faded lin linoleum floors. Spare walls with the odd religious print framed in peach colored wood. On one side is a large open kitchen. Old refrigerators donated by the congregation hum and drip. This must be where the cabbage smell is coming from. Rows of long tables are set up for the next spaghetti supper. They work well enough for today's speed dating. The bell rings and a ghost appears. Sup. I'm Riley. You're pretty hot for a ghost. Slow down there, buddy. Hey, sorry. Just saying. Isn't it cool we stay the age we died? Makes dying young a little better. Um... Why are you speed dating? You're probably thinking, what's this hunk of man doing here? I feel ya. Even hunks need a little help sometimes. It's been a while since I bit it. Still haven't found the one, you know? I've tried mixers, personal ads. Beefy boy seeks nice ghost for some one-on-one. -on -one. Nothing doing. So I figured I'd give this a go. It seemed fun. How'd you end up a ghost? Oh wow, so long story. It was a wi I was a wide receiver in high school. Got real good. When it came time for college, bam, full scholarship. But football's rough. When you catch passes like I did, you take a lot of blows. Eh. After a while, I started getting headaches. I'd get dizzy just standing up. But I kept on playing. Had to. I mean, these were my best years. Until one day, intracranial hematoma. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, now I'm here. 
Um, and we get to meet. So it's not all bad. Haha. <laughs> I try not to let how I died define me. So many ghosts have sad stories. I want to make the best of this. Have some fun. Be the best Riley I can be. It's just hard to figure out what that means. I wish ghosts didn't care so much about labels. It's just like when we were alive. Everyone always telling me who I was without bothering to learn who I am. So who are you? I'm still figuring that out. Without my division high receiving yards and all the cheering in the stands, who is Riley? You have unfinished business. Yeah, me and every other ghost. Sigh. The bell rings. Oh snap, half time. Guess we call time out. Let's keep this going in the second half. Another ghost appears. Cough. Hello, sunshine. The ghost takes a long drag of their cigarette. The smoke rises up through their hollow frame, bumping out the holes in their back. They let you smoke in here? I didn't ask. Won't make much difference now. My name's Farah. That or the lady in smoke. That's what the ghost hunters call me. Ghost hunters? Living weirdos. Trying to prove we exist. Hunter sounds dramatic. Gives him too much credit. For years now, I've haunted Vegas. The Glitzer condominiums. On the strip. Obnoxious houses behind gates. I wake up, rich fools at night. Shrouded in gray smoke. Jangling pennies. Wailing, pay the price. Jump like that. That's pretty cool. Thanks, hun. Spent lots of time working on it. I like when they choke on the smoke. Choke themselves awake. Then they see me floating at the foot of the bed. Looking ready for a funeral. It works. Except when the smoke alarm goes off. Then it's not as scary. To disconnect the alarm. Haha. <laughs> Cough. Why didn't I think of that? Why is a ghost like you need a place like this? Ah, loneliness. I hear ya. It's about as low. I'm about as lonely as a lost shoe. Just as useless, too. You get used to it. Also, you never get used to it. You're not useless. Thanks, hun. Sometimes I'm not sure. Anything I do matters. Got that feeling even in life. Can't seem to make it go away. The bell rings. Guess that's the bell. We'll have to pick this up later. See ya. Another ghost appears. Hey. Hey, I'm Stephanie, but you can call me Steph. Everybody does. Um, I suppose I should have given you a voice too. Uh, hi Steph. Hey, oh gosh, I'm nervous. I've never done anything like this before. I spent like an hour putting my face on this morning. What brings you to speed dating? I've been single for a while. At first it was great. I did what I wanted to do. Taught myself some Japanese. Played my clarinet every day without fail. Allowed myself time to get to know the real me. But after a while, the silence gets to you. My cat only says so much. Tell me about your cat. Clarence, after the angel, but he's more of a demon, especially around food. You know how most cats have a ple this pleasant meow? Almost a mew? Clarence wails and whines. 
all raspy like he's dying or dead. Haha. -ha. You probably think I'm so weird. We're all a little weird. Suppose it beats being normal. There's nothing worse than meeting someone and running out of things to say after like 10 minutes. That's why I'm here. There's no time to get bored. If you do, it's almost impressive. Tell me about playing clarinet. You gotta commit to it. When I first learned as a kid, we rented one, which was gross, cause, well, you have this cloth. It's like a little metal thing attached to a long string. The cloth is on the other end. When you're done playing, you take the mouthpiece off and you run the little metal thing through the clarinet to pull the cloth through and de-spitify it. That sounds like a lot of work. Sorta, I guess. We used to call it the spit rag. Do you miss playing? Not really. I mean, I still practice every day. Can dead people play the clarinet? Of course not. They're dead. They can't breathe, so they can't play. Why even ask that? Because you can't breathe. Of course I can breathe. I'm talking to you, aren't I? That's different. How? Because you're a ghost. Wait, what? What do you mean? Oops, <laughs> I think I just shattered her world. No, wait. The bell can't be ringing yet. I don't understand. We're dead? Did I die? Am I a ghost? Oh, gee. <laughs> Sorry. I guess you had to find out somehow. The second round begins. Stop. I'm Riley again. Haha. Uh -huh. So, like, what should we talk about now? Um. Got any dating tips? Dating tips, huh? I'm only a player on the field. Off it. Love's no game for me. I just try to be real and ask the same of others. It's pretty simple, actually. You're smarter than you look. I am. Thank you so much. That's super nice of you. You're welcome, Riley. So you're nice and hot. Score. The bell rings. So, like, I was thinking, it might be fun to go see a game together. My old team's playing our state rivals. It's been a while since I checked in on them. That's not really my thing. Bummer. But hey, I understand. I think maybe we count this as a loss. There's always next time, though. Hello again, sunshine. Good to see you back around. Ugh. We only touched on my past last time. Us ghosts tend to look back a lot, reflect, obsess, maybe. Hard to know a ghost without knowing how she lived. Um, I try not to think about my past. That's a shame. Maybe your past isn't great. Lord knows mine isn't. But ignoring the past doesn't mean it goes away. I tried putting my past behind me, but the past has a way of haunting you. Uh, what happened to you? I made my life in Vegas. When there, uh, th went there when things started booming. Figured I could make some money. At first I lost a whole bunch. Slots. They'll get you good. Then I took this job. Working for a casino boss his executive assistant. I told him when to wear a tie and cleaned his dirty laundry, if you get my meaning. Uh, 
Um, you must have made serious money. Honestly, no. The base pay was pretty sad. But when I did good, he gave me thousand dollar tips. And put me up. Never had to pay a dime in rent. What was the catch? The guy was a scumbag. A real piece of work. There was nothing he wouldn't do. Buy people out. Rob them. There were so many convenient accidents. Anything to get at the competition. I was the one who kept his secrets. I made them go away. Cough. Um... Sounds dangerous. It wasn't until it was. One day in 1954, the casino rang me up. A voice, the boss's son, said they were out of clean shirts. It was maybe 6 a.m. The sun wasn't up yet. I dropped my girl off at a sitter and rushed over to the casino. Why did you go? By this point, he had me trapped. I knew all his secrets, and he knew mine. If I left, who knows what he'd do. I didn't mind dying, but I had a kid to think about. The casino front doors were locked. The doors were never locked. Security let me in, and led me to the blackjack tables, where my boss was waiting. Dead on the floor. Blood soaking into the burgundy carpet. Where was his son? Standing next to his pops. He smiled when he saw me. He'll make this go away, he said. I nodded. Two guys, bigger than horses, stepped up behind me. They lent, uh, loaded my dead boss into the trunk of a black car. One of them drove, the other made sure to sit with me in the back seat. Did you know these men? No. All their toughs, all, all their toughs looked the same. I swear they worked a year and then got put down. Like my boss had been put down. I kept thinking about where this put me. When we, uh, when we got to the desert, would they bury me too? But they didn't. I watched as my boss, friend to the mayor, a builder, a legend, got what he deserved. A hole in the sand. Um. Hmm. I kind of want to say both of these things. Um. Uh. Did you confront the sun? Not a chance. By the time we got back to the strip, the casino was open, busy as ever, and the sun was out, making funeral arrangements. A heart attack, that's what they called it. Sudden, unexpected, tragic, horse crap. And your daughter? I wasn't about to pick her up. At least not until things cooled down. I went home alone, locked all the doors and windows, turned off all the lights, and waited. Nothing happened until I nodded off. I woke to an intense heat, took a deep breath, sucked in hot black smoke. My lungs felt like they were burning. I couldn't see. They burned my home down after making sure I was inside. I'm so sorry, Vera. Or, hmm. Um, what about your kid? I made sure she was taken care of. Had a bunch of money stashed away. My brother in Tulsa took her in. For a long time, I couldn't bear to see her. And by the time I was ready, I couldn't find her. I couldn't even tell, I can't even tell you if she's still alive. The bell rings. Sorry this got so grim. After this is all over, maybe we can grab a drink and try not to let the past haunt us, even for just an hour.
So, wait! We're actually totally 100% dead? Sort of? Sort of? What the heck does that mean? We're still conscious. This is so weird. I still feel alive. Just like disassociated. Like the world is going on without me. It's a familiar feeling. I felt it a lot when I was alive too. What was your life like? It was difficult, except not really. Mostly life was pretty good. Um, let's ask her about her job. Honestly, I never really had a job. I didn't work during high school and I uh, got sick my first year of college. Um, sick? This is hard to talk about. I had cancer, a brain tumor. It was bad. Diagnosed a week after my 19th birthday. I started getting headaches and feeling confused about things. Things would just look wrong, out of place. It's hard to describe. Um. Hmm. How long did they give you? They gave me a few months with treatment that turned into a year. They said it was aggressive, so they had to be aggressive. Eventually, the symptoms subsided. It seemed like they zapped it, told me I was progression free, whatever that means. I was allowed to go back to school, but I didn't. I retreated to my room. After so much time facing death, I had a lot of trouble facing people. Funny, huh? Now I'm facing death and people. There's the bell. Guess it's back out into the world now. I have a lot to figure out. It was nice to meet you. Thanks for helping me talk this out. Steph leaves the room. If you hurry, you could catch up to her. See if she'd like to talk some more. Then again, a date with a ghost like Steph might not be the most exciting. She's not fo she's no football hunk, nor is she the infamous lady in smoke. Choose your date. Let's go for Steph. Mostly because it's the easiest voice for me to do for extended periods. You, <laughs> you catch up with Steph. She looks surprised to see you. You think it's hard to tell with the mask. Hey, what's up? Is everything okay? I just thought we should hang out. Oh, cool. I'd like that. Where should we go? Um, how about the symphony? Normally, I'd love to see the symphony. For all the years I played clarinet, I've never actually seen a professional orchestra. Sigh. Another time, though? Maybe we could just walk around. Maybe find a nice park. Talk a bit. A heavy layer of snow has claimed the trees and buried the grass nearby. A cobblestone walking trail twists around the edge of a lake. Pass old goat, uh, an old ghost sitting on a bench, tossing nothing on the ground but still going through the motions. The ghosts of geese gather around him anyway, acting out a ritual that no longer serves any purpose. This is all so confusing. You must have a lot of questions. I really, really do. Were you this lost when you died? For a while, yes. How did you figure things out? 
talking to other ghosts. So I'm on the right track, at least. I just feel like I spent years on a puzzle, only to realize I'm missing pieces. They're gone. I'll never finish. And now, what do I do? Do I take the puzzle apart? Be proud that I did what I could? I'm still- it's- it's still an accomplishment. I guess. But now what? What do we even do as ghosts? Do we get jobs? What's the point of anything? You can help people. I guess we have powers. We can manipulate things, right? That's up to you. When you're little, everyone asks, What do you want to be when you grow up? Now it's like, what do you want to be when you die? It's too much pressure. I gotta learn how to walk again before I can figure out where to go. Start with a place to haunt. Where do ghosts even live? Or not live? You know what I mean. Everywhere. I get to decide what kind of ghost I am? That's a lot of freedom for one staff. It's kind of... It's also kind of exciting, actually. I think I'm ready to take my mask off. You got this. If you say so. How do I look? Beautiful. Thanks for lying to me. And thanks for the talk. It helped a lot. We should do this again sometime. I'd like that. It's hard to be a ghost. But Steph seems like she'll be alright. What's next for you, though? Okay. Cool. Well, I, I enjoyed that. That was that was fun. I'm glad I finally got around to playing this. Um, I had I've had this in my inventory since uh, like last year sometime when they uh, did a, a big sale on itch.io or, or or no no it wasn't a sale it was a like a bundle like a charity bundle. Um, got a like a, a bunch of games from it, but. Uh, most of which I've not played, um, but yeah. Anyway, this is this is on itch.io. Itch uh, it's also on Steam and consoles. Like it's on Switch. If you'd rather play it that way, um, I may, I may come back to this at some point. I may even come back to this this month. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what I have time for. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe for more and uh, leave a like if, if you enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, so s stick around for more Spooky Ducktober. I'll, I'll have at least one more video, hopefully several. I, I've, I've got several things planned. I just don't know what I'm going to fit into my month because it's slipping away from me. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Peace. Ha 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 ha.